Who are you? Uh, my name is Stephen Brundage. What are you doing for us today with those bags? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic today. Rubik's Cube magic? The act that I do, I'm the only person in the world that actually does it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> awesome. Can I step down towards you? Why not? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Now, there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up, so watch that close. Completely mix it up one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to solve. <laughs> I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. <laughs> Completely empty. Can I look in it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's Cube. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. That would be an amazing trick if there was not a second Rubik's Cube in the bag. <laughs> but that's not the trick. I'm being sure you're still paying attention. Simon, can you actually cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up? Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Now, when you think of a solved Rubik's Cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's Cube? Watch close. Right about... Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely <laughs> perfect match. Magic is real. <laughs> Better than one side, though. That's going to be side number two. That is three. That is four, that is five, that is all six sides of completely perfect now. What the hell is you that? That's amazing. So I decided since I didn't use all the judges, I want to come down one more time uh, up close to you and do something amazing. Melby, really important question with the Rubik's Cube. I'm going to start to mix it up. Uh, here's my question. Is that Rubik's Cube still mixed up on all six sides, yes or no? It looks like it, yes. yes. I want you to watch close. If I turn the Rubik's Cube one time, that's still going to be mixed up. The cheating happens in a moment. You throw it straight up in the air. <laughs> this time, twice as hard. We're going to take the Rubik's Cube. It's going to happen right in front of your face. If you actually blink, you're going to miss it. Watch. Completely mixed up from there. Less than a millisecond. <gasps> what are you doing? making me nervous. Reba, can you help me out? Sure. Awesome. I'm going to step right up here. Reba, hold out your left hand flat for me there. Everyone watch the bottom of the Rubik's Cube closely. Watch that close. Like that. Now your job is to guard that Rubik's Cube to the very end of the trick. Can you do that? Yep. Fantastic. Because nothing's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Okay. And we're going to do a card trick real quick during this moment. Um, Heidi, can you actually help me select the card? Yeah. Fantastic. Before you select the card, really, really important, I'm going to make sure to give that deck a really good shuffle. So as I go through the cards, <laughs> any card that you want, it's a completely free choice out of 52. Heidi, when you see a card you want, name it out loud, yes. any one you want. The Six of Diamonds. The Six of <laughs> Diamonds. Wait, okay, that card in the middle. Very important question. Have I touched that Rubik's Cube, Reba, since nope. I gave it to you? No, sir. Everyone watch the Six of Diamonds closely. Watch that close. Did you turn it up? Watch that tiny little corner piece. I'm not moving my eyes off. You can look at it. I'm going to get that tiny little corner piece to completely disappear from my hand, fly in the air, and land underneath the Rubik's no. Cube in Reba's hand. No, no you can't do that. Oh, no. If that corner piece is under, that'd be amazing, right? Yes. yes. Reba, lift it up slowly in a loud, clear voice. Is the corner underneath there? No. No. That would have been awesome. It would have been. <laughs> I'm going to do one better. That tiny corner piece is going to go inside the Rubik's Cube in your hand. Heidi, can you hold Impossible. on to the six of diamonds uh -huh. just like this? 
that's impossible. It is now inside. My hands are empty. I'll take the cue back. I want you to watch really, really closely. I'm going to take off a tiny little piece right there. If I actually break off that tiny little corner piece, everyone's going to notice we're going to have a tiny little corner. Oh, my God. Reba, do you mind unfolding that corner piece? No, 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 no. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. How do you do that? Thank you. As a small child, I could have never imagined that this tiny cube of colors would lead me to the biggest stage on earth and the greatest honor of my life, the semifinals of America's Got Talent. Tonight, we're gonna attempt something bigger than I've ever done before. We have a giant tower of Rubik's Cubes right here. We have over 204 Rubik's Cubes stacked up. To give you an idea how many mix-up that is, there's actually more ways to mix up this tower than atoms in the known universe. I want you to watch close. But instead of doing something giant tonight, before we do that, I thought I'd begin where everything all started, me and a single Rubik's Cube. So I'm gonna do down by the judges, Simon. Can you actually help me out? Yes, no Perfect. fire. Here's my question, Simon. No Is fire. that cube still mixed up on those sides? Right? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. watch that close. We're gonna mix it up just a little bit from completely mixed up, completely How solved. Do you do that? Incredible. Now that's two-handed mixing the cubes. This time we're gonna step it up just a bit. We have this cube, you can look at that. We're gonna do it one-handed, but twice as hard. One-handed, but behind the back, Howie, you're gonna catch it, both hands out, Howie. Here's my question, Howie, is that cube still mixed up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, watch. One-handed, you better catch it though. Watch, one-handed, behind the back when Howie catches it. Shut Completely oh solved. Look at that. that oh my God. Crazy. How do you think, that's amazing. Simon and Howie, hold on to these cubes. Melby and Heidi, I have two cubes for you. Don't mix them up yet. Okay. Right now, I need the help of Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, join me on stage, please. How does he do that? Nick, right here, we have a deck of celebrity cards. I want you to look close. We have Tom Hanks right here. Okay. We have Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Justin Bieber, et cetera, Emma Stone, Beyonce. You could actually go through, you could see all the cards are completely different in there. Yes. Nick, I want you to use your intuition. Whenever you get a feeling, okay. I want you to stop on any card that you want. So we're gonna deal them down in a pile here. Say the word stop whenever you want. Okay. Uh, stop. As many as you want, perfect. Stop. Take that card, don't look at it yet, very important. If you stopped on the card earlier, we would have got Lady Gaga. Nice. Right, one card later, we also get The Rock. I like him a lot. Smell and very, cooking. very important, you can actually see through all the cards are completely different in the yes. deck. Nick, hold your card close to your heart. Don't look at it yet. Judges, start mixing your cubes. <laughs> now, Nick, you're gonna tell each judge to stop in any order that you want. And okay. judges, put your cubes down. But wait, if I took your cubes back with my hands, you would accuse me of cube sleight of hand. So I have an anti-cube sleight of hand device right over here. So, Nick, get started. Uh, okay, uh, Mel. Yes. Stop. Stop. Perfect, Mel. I'll take it back. Thank you. Next one, Nick. Uh, Simon. Simon. Stop. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you. Heidi. Stop. Heidi, you can place it down. Perfect. Last but not least, anytime you want. Howie. Stop it. Okay. Right there. <laughs> perfect. All four cubes mixed up by the judges. My hands have not touched them. Nick, join me back by the Tower of Cubes for me. Okay. Perfect, Nick, we have four holes. We have one, two, three, and four. We're gonna choose a cube, choose a hole. One, two, three, or four. This one. Number two yeah. right over there, yes. we're gonna place it right in. We have one, three, and four. Your choice, Nick, anyone you want. The bottom one. The bottom, which one's the bottom one? There's two, perfect. Two left, there's one and four. Which one do you want, Nick? Uh, we'll go up top. Up top, right over there. And last but not least, you left the last cube right down towards the corner near you. Yes. Right in there. Nick, you decided everything. You chose which holes. You told the celebrity to stop. You chose which card you wanted for the first time. Nick, I want you to name your celebrity out loud so everyone could hear you. Brad Pitt. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brad Pitt. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I have no idea how you did that. Steven Brundage.
first off, uh, thank you judges for inviting me back on America's Got Talent. It does mean the world to me. Um, everyone knows me for doing the Rubik's Cube magic, but I wanted to make my act just a little bit bigger, so I decided to use a giant Rubik's Cube. <laughs> So Simon, uh, it is kind of hard to do magic with this, so we're going to save that for later. I want you to guard that with your life. I got it. Until the very, very end. I got it. Uh, and we're going to use si uh, Howie, uh, sorry, <laughs> Heidi and Melvi. You're going to help me out right now. I have this little tiny colored die, Heidi. I want you to take the die, roll it in your hand, roll it on the table, but cover it up so no one in the entire world could see it except for you. So I want you to roll it on the table. Let me know when you could peek out a little color. Do you have a color, Heidi? Do, do you have a color? Why well, is everyone laughing? So Melby, also lean in and peek <laughs> at that same color. Can you do that, Melby? Do you see that same color for me? Go in there, Mel. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> perfect. You have that color? Uh, uh, perfect. Melby, I want you to name a different color than what you saw on top of that Rubik's Cube. Any color you want. Name it out loud? Yeah, out loud so everyone could hear. Red. Red. Do you want to change your mind or are you happy with red? That's actually my favorite color as well. I like red. Perfect. Melby, I want you to picture all the red stickers disappearing off your Rubik's Cube. Watch close. Check this out. If I actually take out your Rubik's Cube, you're going to notice there's going to be no red side, no red colors on that side. There's going to be none on that side, that side, that side, or that side because the red is hiding right there in the bottom. Now, Heidi, you have a color. No one in America knows the color except for you and Melby. Watch close. Picture that color in your mind. Visualize your color. Watch. Think of your color. Check this out. You're going to see none of your color on that side of the cube. None of your color on that side, that side, on that side, or that side, because the one color that you're thinking about is going to be the color blue. Show us, Heidi. He is right. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mel and Heidi. That is, these are for you to keep right now. Um, and here's the thing. The last, three round, the last two rounds, every judge has helped me out, except for Howie. Right, so we're gonna have some fun right now, Howie. Okay. Absolutely. So right here, I have two special cubes. I want you to grab either one, and your job is to mix it up. Mix up yours. I'm gonna mix up mine behind my back. Behind my back? Or no, but in front is fine. Okay. Yeah, just <laughs> say the word stop. Holy cow! Don't break it. Uh, say the word stop anytime you want. To myself? To me? Oh, stop! Out loud. Stop as stop. well. Stop as well. Holy cow! Look at that. That is amazing. What Do you is see that right there? There's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up. Very important. You kind of hid yours up front. I mixed up mine behind my back. You know what the chance of these two cubes matching is? Not. I, one in 43. Just two cubes. Take a look at that. Look, that's going to be a completely perfect match, Howie. Your mixed up cube. Oh my God. But check it out. That is all of the sides a perfect match. But wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. No, don't clap, don't clap. Stop. No, I did that before. I did that the first round. Simon, you've been guarding that the entire time, right? Yes, I have. Has anyone touched it? Only me. Look at how he's mixed up Rubik's Cube. No, no way. No way. Look at that. That is a perfect side on one. That is a second side. That is a third side. Four, five, all six sides. A perfect match. That is for you to keep, Howie. That's for you. There you go. Thank you, man. You guys are awesome. Steven Brundage! Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching on air and online. And to subscribe, just uh, click below. And comment and like. And just don't touch.